Welcome to Electro Online, and here we're going to solve a three equation, three unknown type of problem. It's also known as a system of linear equations where you have three variables and three unknowns, and we're going to use the method of Gaussian elimination by using a three by three augmented matrix to solve this problem. So we're going to turn this into an augmented matrix. This is a one, a two, a negative one, negative two, a one, zero, one, zero, two, negative one, negative one, and negative 3. In other words, to the left here we put the coefficients of the x, y, and z variables and to the right here we plug in the constants on the right side of the equal sign. The objective now is to turn all the diagonal elements here into 1's and everything else into zeros. So we start with the top left here that needs to be 1 since it's already 1 we don't have to do anything there. That means we now we're going to eliminate these two numbers right here and we use this method where we take the second row and replace it by the negative of this number times the row with the one in it and adding it to the second row we take the third row and we take the negative of that number negative two times the row with the one in it which is r1 and add it to the third row when we do that we get the following matrix notice that the first row does not change at all so this remains as a one a two a negative one and negative two for the second row, it's negative 1 times this added to that gives me 0. A negative 1 times 2 is a negative 2 added to 0 is a negative 2. A negative 1 times a negative 1 is a positive 1 added to 1 gives me 2. And a negative 1 times a negative 2, that's a positive 2 added to 0 gives me a 2. All right, so now we've taken care of the second row. The third row, negative 2 times r1 added to this gives me 0. Negative 2 times a 4 is a negative 4 added to negative 1 is a negative 5. Negative 2 times a negative 1 is a positive 2, added to negative 1 is a positive 1. And negative 2 times a negative 2 is a positive 4, added to negative 3 is a positive 1. All right, quick check to see if I did this correctly. So negative 2 times this, 0. Negative 2, that's a negative 4, negative 5. Negative 2 is a positive 2, positive 1. Negative 2 times this is a positive 4, add to negative 3, positive 1. All right, that's good. Next, what we're going to do is we want to turn this into a positive one so the second row becomes minus one half times the second row in other words divide the whole row by negative two and this becomes a positive one so we come up over here and our matrix becomes the following notice that the first column doesn't change so that's still a one a two a negative one and a negative two the third one doesn't change zero negative five one and one and the second row this is a zero this becomes a positive 1, a negative 1, and a negative 1 because we took every element and we divided it by negative 2. All right, now I want to turn this into a 0. I want to turn this into a 0. So I take the first row and replace it by the negative of that number, negative 2, times the row with the 1 in it, adding it to row 1. Oop, the row with the 1 in it, that's R2. And I take R3, replace it by the negative of that number, positive 5, times the row with the one in it, which is R2, plus the third row. And that should eliminate these two numbers. They will become zeros. All right. So our matrix now becomes as follows. The middle row doesn't change. 0, 1, negative 1, negative 1. The top row, this is still a 1. This will go to 0. Negative 2 times 1 added to positive 2 is 0. Negative 2 times a negative 1, that's a positive 2, added to negative 1 is 1. Negative 2 times a negative one is a positive two added to negative two gives me a zero. Okay, now for the third row. Five, okay, this is a zero, that remains zero. Five times this added to this is a zero. Five times this is a negative five added to one is a negative four. Five times a negative one is a negative five added to one becomes a negative four. All right, next, what we can do is now we want to turn this into a one. We do that by taking the third row and replace it by negative one quarter times the third row. In other words, divide the whole row by a negative four. When we do that, we get the following matrix. The first row doesn't change, one, zero, one, zero. The second row doesn't change, zero, one, negative one, negative one. The third row becomes a zero, a zero, a one, and a one. All we have left to do now is turn these two numbers into zeros. We can do that by taking the first row and replacing it by the negative of that number, negative one, times the third row, adding it to the first row. Remember, the third row is now the one that has the one in it. 
we take the second row and replace it by the negative of that number, which is positive 1, times the third row added to the second row. And when we do that, we get the following matrix. Notice that the third row does not change 0, 0, 1, and 1. The first row, negative 1 times, let's see, this remains a 1 and this remains a 0. So we take negative 1 times the third row, add it to the first row, that becomes a 0. Negative 1 times this, add it to that, becomes a negative 1. For the second row, we take 1 times this, so this, becomes, this stays a 0, that stays a 1. 1 times 1 added to 1 becomes a 0, or negative 1. 1 times this added to that becomes a 0. And now we are done because notice that we have 1's across the diagonal, 0's everywhere else. This rep represents this column, this represents x, this represents y, this represents z. So we can see that x equals negative 1, y equals 0, and z equals positive 1, which is a solution set for this system of linear equations. It's always a good thing to do a quick check. For example, x plus z, does that equal, equal 0? Negative 1 plus positive 1 equals 0. And here, negative 1 plus 0 minus 1 equals negative 2, and that checks as well. So a couple of checks, and you can see that, yes, that looks like the proper solution to this set of linear equations. And that's how we use the method of Gauss elimination to solve a three-equation through a known type of problem. It's a pretty slick method, and it works quite well.